Hey everyone, it is energy update time. So much going on as usual. You're going to want to stick around till the end. We're going to do a little bit of heart space, heart activation, breath work. So a lot of powerful energy. We've been experiencing it over the past few months. Uh, coming in really bringing up a lot of dense energy, a lot of density. You see, when our divine light comes down through our channel, in through our crown, through our channel down into the earth and back up, it encounters density within our body. It creates like a wobble in the energy flow. And that makes us feel a little bit out of alignment. It brings up a lot of emotional type stuff. And it also can bring up a lot of physical type stuff, right? So when we feel this, it's our body's way of calling us into it to create space, to really bring awareness into these areas of the body. Because what happens is, if we could bring awareness to these areas where there is stuck energy, we bring consciousness there, literally. We become conscious in areas where we've previously been unconscious. That's within our physical body. Does that sound familiar? Kind of like our limiting beliefs, right? When we experience a limiting belief and we're aware of it, we can bring consciousness to it. And then we could reprogram those limiting beliefs. So same thing's happening within the physical body. The limiting beliefs and things like that are actually stored in our subconscious mind, our subconscious, which really is our physical body. So energetically, without even really bringing awareness to the limiting beliefs, we can do this work by bringing awareness to where we're kind of feeling it in the body, where we're sore, where we're stiff, where we've got aches and pains and things like that. So always be body aware. Okay. That's a very important thing. I know a lot of times we're so focused in the mental body and working with that energy, which is great. Never would want to discourage that. That is a crucial part of this process, but don't neglect the body because a lot of this stuff can be healed just by bringing awareness to the body, because that is where your energy is flowing. That's where the DNA is being activated. The density is being run into and it's blocking this energy and it's reflecting out either as physical pain or as experiencing triggers and limiting beliefs and emotional stuff like that. So when we can get into these areas, we can expand, create space and expand and bring awareness to it where our attention goes, our energy flows. So we are literally bringing consciousness into our physical tissue. And when we do that and stretch it and expand it, we create space, and that starts to vibrate it faster and faster, and more of our divine energy flows through. That's the transmutation process, alchemization process, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's going to raise your frequency, and when that happens, the law of attraction, law of vibration, right? We start to attract more of our divine energetic flow. We have the space. It starts moving freely through our body without that wobble. And the reality that gets up here that we can perceive that flows out of our toric field is one that is of a higher frequency. Okay, so a lot of times we're looking out there for it, but our body, our soul is guiding us into the body and our body saying, hey, this is it. These are the areas here we need to work on. So recently we've been experiencing a lot of I've been experiencing, and I know I've seen people comment about these types of things, but a lot of throat chakra um, stuff, sacral chakra, a lot of pain in the lower area of the back and, and things like that. And heart space activations, a lot of heart space activations um, bring forward our connection there to the divine energy flow and unconditional love that is coming through. So a lot of times when that gets blocked, it gets blocked right here at the solar plexus, and our energy can't get up into the heart. So uh, we're going to do a few different types of breaths in this video to just really bring that energy forward. So the first I want to focus on the solar plexus block, which is a very common energetic block. I experience this all the time with, with um, in coaching sessions with, with my beautiful clients that uh, book coaching sessions with me. So we do some of this solar plexus breathing. And I've done this in prior videos. We're going to do just a little bit right now, a couple. I'm going to just do two or three breaths to show you the technique. And then you could go ahead and do this. I would do this every day, this and the heart space one we're going to do after that. So if you 
put your hands right below your sternum. Okay, the goal is to expand that out. Now, we don't want to arch our back. What we want to do is breathe into it and push it out. Okay, so without arching your back, you are just focusing awareness, okay, your, your attention into this area and you take a breath and expand it right below the ribs, okay? And exhale, you could draw in from the crown down and keep your hands here and expand it. Now, it may be challenging for many of you to be, and that's because you've got energetic blockages there. You, you lack awareness in that area. And when you lack awareness in that area, your divine energy flow is coming up and hitting it. It's hitting that area, it's blocked, it's being blocked. And then it's slowing down in frequency. It's wobbling and it's coming up and it's creating a distorted view of reality. One that has a lot of emotional type charge to it and lots of triggers and things like that. So when, you know, being the solar plexus, we feel like we don't have control. We don't have our power, right? So that is a symptom of energetic blockages in the solar plexus area. If you have like a lot of reflux or gastro type things, upper gastro, um, ulcers, that kind of stuff, blockages in this area, okay? So put your hands on your sternum right below, okay, where I showed you, and just take a deep breath in from your crown and fill that area. You are literally bringing consciousness. You're making the unconscious conscious in that area. You're waking up the tissue, you are building circuitry, you're connecting with the nerve endings, and you are actually starting to control the muscles in that area. And when you could do that, you bring awareness to them because you have the ability now to control them. You see, when they're neglected and we don't go through these exercises, it gets more dense and the energy gets stuck. So let's take a few breaths here. We're gonna breathe in from the crown, Put our hands on our sternum and I want you to sit up straight and just take a deep breath in and push your hands forward with your breath right below your rib cage. And you can exhale straight out down into the earth. As you're doing that, if you want to constrict Mula Bandha at the base of your spine, the root chakra, as you exhale, that's going to bring more awareness to that area and further anchor you, anchor your consciousness into the physical body. Okay, so let's do it again. From the crown, down, solar plexus, hands on your sternum, breathe in. Push those hands out. Really expand it. And exhale straight down into the ground. Now, you may be drawn to um, or guided to draw breath up from the ground, up into the solar plexus. That's fine. Wherever you're guided, whatever your intuition is showing you, go with it. A lot of times um, people think that there's a super specific way to do breath work. There isn't. You want to open up to your guidance. I'm showing you the basic techniques. The important thing with this technique is to be able to focus on the muscles within the solar plexus to really push those hands out when you breathe in and expand them. Okay, when you breathe out, they're going to come back in, right? You're going to breathe in and they're going to expand. That is regaining awareness of an area of your body that has been unconscious. Okay, so... The expansion of that builds the circuitry, the neural circuitry, so that you can control those muscles. You're bringing awareness to something that you had forgotten about, just like our parallel lives, past lives, however you want to term it, our star family, our guides, deceased loved ones. Those we have forgotten about, we are bringing awareness back to it. We do that when we're in meditation and things like that. When we think about them, we're thinking about now the the area within our solar plexus, the circuitry there, the nerve endings and things, and we're bringing awareness back to them and that these areas. And that brings consciousness in there and raises 
the frequency, it creates space, okay? And a magical thing happens. When we work on the solar plexus, the energy then, more of your divine flow can get up here into the heart. Okay, then we start to feel that love come forward, unconditional love. This is the heart space. The heart space portal, the connection to your higher um, divinity, okay? That energy, done a video, literal portal here. I have walked through it and connected with my multidimensional aspects. Um, an amazing, amazing experience. So when we could free that energy up from the solar plexus, gets into the heart. So let's do a quick heart space breath. Again, same thing. We want to expand the space. So how do we do that with our body, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to bring our shoulder blades back, try to touch them together, and then shift them down. And you're going to feel your chest really expand. So again, we are expanding our chest, our heart space here, the high heart, the heart chakra, and we are creating space and we're creating awareness there. Okay, so the new energy that we freed up from the solar plexus breath now can fill up into here. So bring your shoulder blades together and down, expand, take a breath in from the crown down. Fill that space and hold it. And exit that breath down out through the root into the planet. Okay, again, squeezing Mula Banda at the root if you want. It's going to help anchor your, your awareness, your consciousness, essentially, into the body. We're bringing the focus back to the body. Okay, so let's do another one. We're going to bring those shoulder blades back and down. Take a deep breath in. Let's do it two feet above. We're going to incorporate chakra eight down into through the crown into the heart space and do that now. Really feel it stretch as you hold it. Feel it. Bring awareness to that area in the heart space. And exhale down out through the root. Again, if you're called to bring it forward and in or bring it from um, from the planet up and out, however you feel inclined to do it, allow your guidance to guide you through that process. But do these two breaths throughout the day. And I would encourage you to anchor into the root with Mula Banda that's squeezing those muscles at the base of the pelvic bowl as you inhale and exhale, and that is going to further anchor you into your body. So do that. You're going to notice that your energy, as you do this breath work, starts to become more uh, natural. It starts to flow. The breathing starts to become more natural, and you're going to be more in tune to the guidance that your body is showing you as you're doing these breaths, okay? You could come down into the throat, and you may lose a little bit of awareness as you're drawing it into the heart space. So you're going to focus more on the throat area. So be aware of those types of things. Third eye, um, sacral chakra. So wherever it is, bring that awareness in. And there are different things we could do in future videos that will help stretch and expand these other areas to bring tension there uh, so that you can really squeeze it and expand that space. That's what we're doing. We are really bringing tension by bringing our shoulder blades back and forcing that open and breathing into it and filling it with light, okay? The breath is us consciously bringing the light, your divine self, into the body and filling that space. So work on those. Um, you should really do some of those daily, every day. It really is going to help integrate this energy it's going to free up a lot of stuck energy, create more space so that you could ground more of your higher self. You're going to get more in tune with your intuition, um, your guidance, your body is going to call you. You're going to know where to go and how to bring your attention, your focus, your energy, high frequency energy, your consciousness to the areas of the body that lack it so that you could build more circuitry and again, anchor more of your soul's energy. Bring more of your higher self down, embody that, and start to live in that way. These are some of the things that I do 
with people in coaching sessions. If you feel you want one-on-one -on -one work with this, book a coaching session on the website. Also, I have a free 20-minute, roughly 20-minute heart chakra activation guided meditation that I just put up on the website. So check it out. I will put the link below. It's free. You can just enter, you know, sign up for it and it's going to end up in your inbox and you can listen to it as many times as you'd like. It's really great and really helpful. So start incorporating breath work into your meditation and I guarantee you're going to start to feel amazing things. Um, if you guys are doing this, leave a comment below. I would love to know your experiences. I've had just incredible emotional releases uh, doing breath work, especially when I've incorporated in with some yoga poses. Just a lot of stretching. The yoga really gives you the ability to stretch even further and create more space and bring more awareness into these areas that are really tight. And that really helps to free up energy. So, so many things you could do. Go with whatever resonates, but comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you guys know anyone that this video can help, please feel free to share it. I'd greatly appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you.